First, let me start by saying that I'm Jackie Joya, and I am the founder and creator of Divine Creations Aromatherapy. And the name Divine Creations is something that was inspired to me. It is because, I come to realize this later, we are all divine creations. And everything on this planet is a divine creation. And all of the oils and the plants that they come from, the crystals that I use to infuse the energy into the different blends, these are all divine creations, right? Um, they're given to us to help us have a healthy life on this planet to their nature's medicine, right? That's what the beauty is in using essential oils. They are the lifeblood of the plant. They are the plant's protection from disease and from predators. They give off pheromones that attract um, the birds to them so that they could multiply. Um, there's so much beauty in the plant kingdom. And I was just thinking, as it's the holiday season, my husband and I were talking about the Christmas tree lot that my family had when I was growing up. And one of the reasons why I love evergreen isn't just because it's the Christmas, it's because of that Christmas tree lot. And scent is tied to memory in our brains, in the amygdala part of the brain. And so when we breathe in a scent, it has a familiarity to us. It's either something we connect with or something that we really hate. Um, and so when you connect with something, it usually is tied to a pleasant memory. And if it's something that doesn't smell good to you, it usually means that there's something negative that happened with that experience. Um, you know, I don't know anyone who really loves the smell of broccoli, but... Uh, you know, maybe broccoli would be a good scent to someone who had good memories with it. But, you know, most people have a, a fond association with the evergreen trees and the holiday season. And so um, that is, those are some of the oils that I really love to work with. Um, and so I'm going to go through various formulas that I've created for different purposes and what their meaning is and um, then then feature some things that we are uh, promoting here for the holiday season that might make things a little bit gentler on you and your loved ones um, okay <clears throat> so if there what I'd like to say is that if you are here now and you are here throughout the whole video and I'm going to ask a question at the end of the video based on something that I talk about here in the beginning and if you're still here and you get the answer right I will send you a free product so hang in there and um, I you know hope you enjoy I'm going to start with the collection for the holiday, the Peace, Love, and Joy collection. And that one is really uh, a little... Hang in there and um, I need to know who's here. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing the comments now. <laughs> um, the smell of marshmallow. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, I actually just made a gingerbread house for the first time the other night and I used the marshmallow fluff for the roof and that's the only thing I smell in the house now that I put that marshmallow on the roof. <laughs> I, I smell the marshmallow. It really does. It's very familiar, you know. It's a it has a very sweet smell. Um, you probably, did you go um, camping when you were a kid and make s'mores? Okay, I'm going to start with our little gift set of the, it's Peace, Love, and Joy. And um, the, the three that I have in here is a love, 
essential oil in an eighth ounce bottle and it's a joy spray so you can use this to clear the air you can use it to spray your pillow or you could spray yourself so it's a multifaceted approach and then the other in here is it's actually kind of bright but this is um body butter in a little jar that you can take with you that's easier to see outside the bag so this is actually a half ounce jar and the cream is pretty thick so a little bit goes a long way you could throw it in your purse take it with you anytime you need to feel a little more calming and centering peace is a really great scent for stress relief right I mean just the name of it helps um, tell you what it's for I had created it after I had gone to a friend's house and the stress of the drive was just causing me to feel anxiety I had gone to uh, through detours and um, I was log I got lost with the GPS and then when I got there I couldn't find our house and the timing was perfect for me to make a new formula that I think would resonate with a lot of people and that's where peace was born it has so many different oils it has lavender orange lang lang patchouli um, nutmeg frankincense I'm gonna keep going here if I don't remember I always have to look lemongrass and jasmine which is one of my favorite oils and vetiver which is a root oil and so you have a good uh, base of grounding oils that are earthy with the lightness of the orange and the little bit of the nutmeg is um, a little bit more earthy and then there's the alang alang which is actually a flower oil and alang alang is a very sweet flower so you only need a little bit to, to go a long way um, I also like I said I love the smell of jasmine and jasmine is just a hint in this blend and it makes the the blend a little bit like lighter and a little bit floral um, and the lavender is just like your equalizer it kind of brings it all together so you have the woodsy the sweet the floral it kind of has a little of everything the citrus and um, so it really it really helps you transcend and so the this is what the piece bottle looks like I'm trying to get the lighting right here okay there we go <laughs> all right so peace comes in the third ounce essential oil mixed with jojoba oil so that you can put them directly on your skin you can put it in a diffuser and um, you can you know put it on a drop and put that um, on a tissue and put it under your pillowcase and so you can breathe it in as you're sleeping there's um you know you could drop it in your bath water so it makes like a giant diffuser for you when you're in the bath and so that's why I like to put it in the jojoba oil for easy application the pure essential oils most of them are safe to put directly on the skin which is what we call neat but a lot of companies will not recommend it just for safety reasons so also when you have the fixative like the jojoba oil in the oil it actually helps you to lock the scent in to last longer as the blend on your skin so if we just put the essential oils on without the fixative of the jojoba the oils will evaporate at different rates and so for example the orange will evaporate more quickly you'll be left with the heavier scents lingering on your skin for the majority of the time but when you use something like oil or cream base it's going to help it last longer on your skin and you can smell the whole blend usually for up to four hours and then we usually have to reapply again after four hours so that's how that works um, the peace oil is available like I said in the essential oil bottle and also in the body butter those are the only two forms that I sell it in and I do also have a four ounce size of the piece available if you want you know you want a larger size of the cream 
Um, Kathy says, I love the earth sense. Yes. Uh, that's, you know, it's really grounding. Like we need to feel grounded and relaxed in order for us to really focus. And it's important for our brains to be able to get that, that calmness. It's just not, uh, when we're scattered and we have like so many things going on, uh, it's easy to lose focus. And so the root oils are good for that. The vetiver root, um, and the, the pine and the spruce, these are all in my focus oil, which I'm going to talk about in a little while. And, um, yes, Trisha says the lavender is good for sleep. Lavender is good for sleep. It's good for skin healing. It's good for anxiety. It's good for, um, bringing your confidence up and also for relaxing. Like if you're impatient, it's good for relaxing you. There's so many amazing qualities of lavender and we often just think, oh, it's a relaxing oil, but it actually helps the skin heal. And that's a really big deal because we could use that if we have a bug bite or if we have a burn, you know, lavender is really great for those things too. So always a, a good idea to have lavender on hand. Okay. So also in the peace, love and joy kit, I'm going to go into a little bit more about the love. And um, so love is a scent that helps you to feel comforted, loved, and to increase your own self-love. There's a, this is a wonderful formula. And um, this one also has, this has lavender, uh, ylang, ylang sandalwood, patchouli, sage, robinsara. It's uh, also got cinnamon and lemongrass. So you can see that a lot of the, some of the oils are familiar to all the different blends. Um, there's some that, that are considered like a fixative or a base of a blend. So it helps give it body and it helps it last longer on the skin. Um, it, it just uh, creates a deep, you know, calming. Um, the love formula is just so beautiful. It has this warming effect to your heart. It, it helps you. It really does help you feel relaxed and, and comforted. Um, it's a sweet smell. It's, um, let's see if I can describe this one a little bit more for you. Let's see. Oh, by the way, this is the way to smell essential oils. So if you don't know, and you think it's just, you go like this, eh, wrong. The, the right way to smell an essential oil is really to put a finger up your nose, aside your nose, and take a deep breath. Uh, that was funny, a finger up your nose. <laughs> anyway, um, if you are, you know, not wanting to do that in public, you could just take a nice deep breath. And when you do that, the vapors come up through your nose and into your amygdala and your, your memory centers right up here. And you can really, you can feel the essence come into your body and down. This one, you can feel it really comes down right into your heart space. And it's just a warming, sweet, herby, floral, musky, musky kind of scent. It really has like a cologne kind of a smell. So it's a great scent for like unisex. Any, anyone could use it and you don't have to think, well, it's just, you know, for girls. Men would like this too. Um, so it comes in this third ounce bottle, uh, in jojoba oil, which is $26. Um, and the eighth ounce is $12. And it also comes in the body butter, which is the, I have the little hand one that you can throw in your purse for, um, a half an ounce size and also the large size. Of the love which is four ounce I'm going to um, just kind of show you all of my body butters have the same base cream and then I change the scent so when you use one butter it's going to uh, sm smell different 
but it'll feel the same depending on you know which scent you like it'll all be the same so the cream itself is colorless right it's white um, this is because there are no artificial colors and there's no artificial fragrances so I like to keep things as natural as possible in this formula we're looking at uh, safflower oil shea butter cocoa butter cucumber extract chamomile extract aloe vera and uh, it's really just a great hydrating formula what you what happens is you put it on and it has a nice glide so this body cream it's body butter it's not like when you see shea butter it has like that oily consistency this is a cream that really goes into your skin and you can use it to do massage because it has a little bit of a glide to it where it's you know it's still kind of smooth still gliding and you can you know do like a nice hand massage with it and then after a few minutes you'll feel it start to get uh, more absorbed into your skin and it won't be as um, you know as glidey but you can um, you'll find it doesn't get tacky or sticky like some creams do they don't leave your skin like sticky like that um, it actually leaves it with a nice smooth finish very silky feeling and like it'll just be um, like it's almost evaporated now it's almost like sunken in to my skin but it's it's nice because you could really work with it a little bit if you have like a sore shoulder you want to kind of you know work it into your partner's shoulders or feet or hands and so you know and also if you want you know you can use it as your own body cream especially for the winter when you have really dry skin um, and um, asking there's a question where are the products made um, I actually have the bases the base the cream made in a lab and then I do the customizing myself um, here in my own home lab so there's um, what I do is I make the essential oil formulas and I infuse my own Reiki energy into that because I'm a Reiki master um, I also do a special technique to amplify the vibration of the products to make them even more effective um, and there's a lot I can talk about in terms of vibration and what that means um, but like everything in this planet has a vibration it has a energy and so I have uh, the oils sitting on a special mat that helps to charge them up to make them even more powerful um, so a lot of people have said like wow these oils are amazing they really work they're very powerful and um, so that is one of my secrets um, and when I make the product I am putting my energy you know my Reiki energy into and putting the love into the product so um, there's also that and I think that we we all have our own energy that we put into our stuff um, and it's also good you know when you're in a good frame of mind to hold your oils or your products and put your own energy into it as well because it really does make a difference you know as long as the love is going in it'll become a part of you as well um so that is peace and love and I want to men mention that the piece one third ounce I forgot to mention is $16 for the third ounce and I don't sell it in the eighth ounce currently um, just the third ounce and the joy so now joy is part of my line of element balancing scents that I created to help balance the the energies in the meridians as well as the chakras and if you're not familiar with those things I'm gonna show you something that makes it pretty easy I had created a cheat sheet and you can find on my website um, all about what the uh, elements are about but um, for example this card here gives you an idea of what the elements are and 
So from the bottom up, oops, I'm gonna find the camera. <laughs> from the bottom up, we have the earth element in Chinese medicine, and it is also considered the root chakra in Ayurvedic medicine. The water element in Chinese medicine is related to the sacral chakra in Ayurveda. The fire element is related to the solar plexus and also to the crown chakra. So we have fire in two places. And then the wood is considered aligned with the heart chakra and air with the throat to express yourself. And the metal is related to your third eye and your intuition. Um, so what I have done is I've taken this system, these two systems, and I have made essential oil formulas to help balance the energies in these elements. So to help bring more earth into your life and help balance your root chakra and give you more grounding, I have the strength formula. And I had three formulas for this. And um, there they were strength, chill, and stability. Uh, over time, I kind of got, you know, uh, some oils just weren't as popular, so I hadn't been making them. I uh, recently um, was asked to make them again. <laughs> and so I currently have some stock of the chill formula, um, which is a lavender um, orange. It's really mandarin orange, so it's a little bit different than orange because they do have a different scent. And mandarin is actually more of a sedative than regular oranges. Um, but that one is lavender and mandarin and sandalwood and frankincense and an oil called benzoin, which is a sticky um, uh, resin, uh, which is good for deep relaxation and anxiety. And so um, that one is currently back um, back in stock. But I'm holding on to strength right now. And strength is a formula that has the uh, evergreen oils in it. So it has the pine and the spruce, lavender, orange, ylang ylang, patchouli, and myrrh, and geranium. Um, and so this one is a really good balancer for your emotions, for keeping you calm and feeling secure and being able to function throughout your day. So it's not that it's, uh, you know, just going to knock you out and just, you know, take you out for the rest of the night. It's really a calming, but feeling s stable and secure and, you know, being able to get through your day. So helping you feel strong. I like the uh, fire emoji, Trisha. <laughs> That's cute. Um, so moving up the ladder with the element balancing, we have the water element, um, this one is called Let It Flow. And Let It Flow is a great oil for helping you to connect with your passion, connect with your desire, your uh, creativity, your, um, your abundance, your ability to receive and trust and let go of resistance. So if you are struggling to just allow things to happen in your life and you're you know, you're like pushing against it and why is this happening and no I don't need any help and I can do it all um, this is the oil for you like it needs it to break down your walls and your barriers and help you go with the flow so this one is um, a wonderful floral yet woodsy kind of a smell it has like um a little bit on the musky side but it's got lav um sorry let me go back to um, the jasmine. That is the key ingredient. Jasmine actually helps you to release past trauma around the heart. So if you're, you know, and even with your um, sacral chakra and your um, connection to, you know, a partner and having intimacy, um, it's a really great oil to um, break those walls down and allow you to have love come back in again. So there's jasmine and a lang a lang we talked about sandalwood coriander coriander is a um, 
uh, confidence boosting oil and coriander is actually the seed of the cilantro plant um, so if you um, it's, it's, it's very interesting how they smell differently um, but it's neat how these things work right because um, coriander is good digestive aid in that it helps to reduce gas and bloating um, and but cilantro is a really good oil and herb for reducing heavy metals in your body and pulling out those heavy metals so they both are a digestive function um, and they are from the same plant so that's just a little bit of knowledge for you <laughs> um, not exactly about the holiday gift giving but uh, you know it's always fun to learn things right all right so that's the let it flow and it, it does have that kind of floral uh, scent to it and it's you know very um, stirring it stirs you up it feels good uh, and that brings me back to the joy because this is in the fire element category and joy helps you to feel more positive more confident to have um, more purpose in your life and to just uplift you and and clear a negative um, environment clear the energy around you if there's any negativity in there there's lemon and orange and sage and cypress in this blend that are all clearing oils so one of the greatest things to do with the joy is you know in your environment is to spray it and so the little gift bag has the small joy spray so that you can you know just carry it with you if you want um public restrooms is a great place to carry those <laughs> um and then you've got the larger size this is a four ounce of the joy spray and this uh, normally sells for 10.99 um the other fire oil that i have is called vitality and this one was also discontinued for a while um but i bought back by popular request um vitality is made with cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger and it helps you to just like wake up your energy it has like a fire scent and it gives you energy throughout the day so if you don't want to drink coffee you could just put the vitality on and um, so it's a really um, you know perky kind of a scent to it as well all right so then we're gonna move up the ladder to the this the wood scents and what I have here, um, the most popular of the wood scents is the Happy. And the Happy, this is, um, it's Mexican lime and pink grapefruit, lemongrass, bergamot, and tangerine. So it's all citrus and that clears negative energy. It's uplifting. It clears like, you know, anger because wood, uh, the uh, wood element is related to um pushing through challenges and uh and you know anger like the frustrations so this helps to clear those out and give you more perkiness to get through so i like to call it like a refresher um this happy comes in the roll-on the lotion this is the eight ounce lotion i also have a little happy gift bag for the holidays this is always available but this is really great because for like ten dollars right now it's only about ten dollars and you've got a body wash it's a travel kit so you've got a body wash a spray and a um, body lotion there we go now I can get it in the and what's really cute about this because it's all one element you also get a daily rituals card and i've put together a variety of things that help to balance the the different elements and this one the wood element has seven different things so you have something here's example anoint your shoulders chest and diaphragm with the essential oil blend apply it to your pulse points so it gives you a specific area to apply it based on the element that you're treating um read something interesting or watch tv because the wood element comes through the eyes 
Uh, stand tall and feel your feet growing roots into the ground and reach up to the sky and breathe deep. Take a brisk walk in nature and stretch. Because the wood element is related to movement and it's about being flexible and, you know, being that tree that can stand in nature and be swayed with whatever breezes come and not break. That's the whole point of learning how to balance your wood element, that you can bend and not break. So another thing on here, drink water with lemon, eat green apples, limit fatty foods, alcohol, etc. So it gives you some dietary things to do to help balance that as well. Um, spend 15 minutes a day on a creative project because the wood element is also about um, being creative and being industrious and productive. And so um, it also comes with an affirmation. I am loving and forgiving. I practice kindness and non-judgment. I'm self-reliant and rise to challenges and etc. And so you have like a little, you know, daily, daily ritual pack. I'm trying to follow the camera here. <laughs> so that's a nice little gift idea. And then if you wanted to go big, you could go into the larger size. And this is an example here. This one is the intuition. And you have the lotion, the body wash, and a roll-on. And um, so this kit is normally $30. And right now through uh, December 14th, I think, or 19th, um, I have to check the website, there's a, an additional 10% that you can take off of the holiday collection that's already in a discounted um, collection. So now's the time. We have, if you're going to be sending out gifts to anyone, um, it's really important that you get it in soon because if you want to make it there for Christmas Day, the post office is running, you know, five to seven days now. They said, you know, please allow an extra uh, two to three business days for any packages. Um, so I usually ship with UPS or USPS. And it just, uh, you know, depends on where it's going and, and the freight, the, what, what the pricing is. Um, but this is another idea, so it's a little bit on the bigger side. Also comes with the Daily Rituals card. Oh. <laughs> so it's a nice little gift. Um, moving on and up, we have uh, two more of the wood category oils. Um, the Heal Oil is a lavender and chamomile Kind of a florally scent that has a, a base note of labdanum which is also called rock rose and that is one for deep anxiety um, this is the one that i recommend for anyone going through grieving um, it is just it's calming for your your respiratory tract as well as opening it allows any stress like you know, when you're grieving, there's a lot of emotion and this will help to calm that and help you sleep. So people who are, you know, going through that and or worry, um, this is a good oil for that. And it does have, like I said, it has a little bit of a floral base to it because it also has marjoram oil in it. And, but marjoram and lavender together and the chamomile are like sedatives and they're very, they're also good for pain for inflammations. So this oil also has vetiver oil in it, which is a root, which is grounding, also good for pain relief. So, you know, there's multiple uses for the oils. Just because it says it's good for grief, you know, doesn't mean you can't use it for skincare or for the, you know, inflammations. And so <laughs> there's two more things that they do <laughs> in case you weren't paying attention. Um, uh, this is, you know, a good, good oil for that it's it's only let me just point out the oils will smell really good to you when it's right for you to use them so if you're not going through a grieving process this isn't gonna go anywhere you're gonna smell it and go oh I don't like that but when you're ready for something it's gonna smell amazing and that's how you know how to pick the right scent for you 
you can you can look at the card and you can look at the you know descriptions and you can kind of get an idea of what it is that might resonate with you but what I recommend is if you have a couple that you're thinking about and you, you don't really want to spend the money on the full product I would recommend just ordering the samples I have these little one like ten like a dram bottle that has just a, a few drops in it for a dollar you can try any of the scents and you know try it on you for a, a day or two until you you feel like it's you know yes or no but that way you, you get to know whether or not it's right for you um, so it's a nice idea that you can you know have that flexibility uh, here's the third oil for wood it's called splendor and Splendor is all about helping you feel calm, uh, relieve frustration, and feel comforted. So it also helps you to feel like you are pushing through those challenges and that you're realizing your greatness. So I say Splendor isn't, it's like you have to be ready for a Splendor. It's, you have to be, it'll help you with your confidence, but it's, you got to be ready to move forward and go like, it's time to show me, show the world who I am. That's what Splendor is about. And, uh, it's also, you know, good if you have, um, you know, you feel like you've been beaten down, um, and you are really ready to open yourself up and, and, you know, put your, your next foot forward and step forward and, and, you know, shine your light. So Splendor has lavender, orange, rosewood, frankincense, and um, rosewood, frankincense, and a lang lang. Yeah. And it's a different kind of frankincense than some of the others that I use. I have a few different varieties of frankincense. And, it, you know, just a note about that every oil, you know, you might say, oh, I love frankincense or I hate frankincense. It really depends on where it's grown. So, one oil I got was from Somalia, another one was from Egypt, another one was from India. They all have different scent characteristics and also based on where it grows. So, you know, if it's being cultivated and being tended to, um, it might smell different than if it was growing wild. Um, the, the climate has a big difference in, in how the oils turn out. And also, like, frankincense kind of grows on, like, the sides of rocks and, like, it's a really interesting plant. Um, it goes, like, wild. And it's always best when you have something that isn't treated with some kind of pesticide or something to help it grow faster. Uh, natural is always better. So when you're looking for an oil... Organic isn't necessarily always going to be the case, and it's not always the best. Organic isn't necessarily um, a label that they that they put on things all over the globe. There are things that are considered wild crafted or ethically farmed because they don't have a certifying body to say something is organic in certain parts of the globe. There, so you would really look for something that was pure, that was ethically farmed, wild crafted. If, you know, you don't, you, you, like I said, you're not necessarily going to find every oil as organic. And even if it's organic, does it mean that it's going to smell the best? If it was grown in the U.S. versus where it was actually, where it originated, I'd rather have the oil that grew where it originated and where it's, um, it's, it's natural, um, habitat is so that way you're really getting the all the good qualities of the plant that it's supposed to have that it was intended for uh, so that's why I like to say where I get my oils like I go I get the Mexican lime that is like the best lime and I do get my lemons from Italy and I get my bergam bergamot from Italy and I like the lemongrass from India and you know it goes on so I don't necessarily have all those things listed on the website, but if you have any interest in that, I'm happy to, to share that with you. And so moving on, the air element is all about speaking your mind, uh, opening your throat chakra. That is the courage oil. 
and courage has pine and oak and you know, oak think about like how strong and sturdy an oak is and the pine is actually something that helps uh, build your self-esteem um, geranium is a hormone balancer it's also uh, it's good for like calming and balancing you out um, and then bergamot is also in here grapefruit is the other one grapefruit is is good for cleansing like good fresh cleansing self-expression um, so this is what courage is for and if you look on the website and you see like the courage oil for example you'll find it in a lotion but not necessarily a body butter I do certain things with the different oils like some will come in a butter and not in a lotion and that's specifically because of their intended properties and what their the good you know the best use of them would be so like for example courage you would want to use during the day when you're out in the world when you're trying to speak your mind a lotion would be a good thing to do as you go throughout the day keep it on your desk or you know do it first thing in the morning or a roll-on um, or you can keep the oil, you know, in your purse and, you know, put it on you as you need it to breathe it in. So, um, but some of the other products we, you know, I would say, like Peace, I would say the body butter because that's something you want to do more in the evening as you're winding down just to kind of calm. So that's why you'll find some products available and others not. Okay. And so um, moving up to the third eye which is your metal element I have three oils one of them would be the unwind which is a your one scent that would be like when you say I like lavender I would go to this one even though I have lavender and so many of my other formulas this one is for sure um, lavender rosemary marjoram cypress it has that very lavender herby kind of a smell this oil helps relax your mind, stop you from thinking, and open your heart. That's basic unwind, what that's for. Um, then intuition helps you to let your guard down, like we were saying before with the let it flow, um, and open your third eye. And this is with jasmine, lemon, and myrrh. So you can feel it as you breathe it in, it'll go right here. And this is a good one to meditate with. Um, and you have to like jasmine because it smells a lot like jasmine <laughs> and then circling back to the focus oil that I talked about before and focus has the pine and spruce as the base so they help you feel grounded and the vetiver helps you feel grounded and then there's spearmint and basil and rosemary which help bring oxygenation to the brain wake up your memory centers in your brain and help you be able to think better so it has the dual effect I made this originally for um, kids with ADD because I had um, a group of teachers come to me to talk to me uh, about you know doing something for them in the classroom and so I made the focus oil for them and then one of my students um, our clients um, or customers she had used it her, on her son every day and he got off of his concerta by using this and then it was at the time it was my calming formula which I now replaced with chill so uh, you know these things are very powerful and like I said nature's medicine this is um this is something that I was pretty proud of so focus oil works and then The spirit fire element, I have um, an oil called Connect that's a meditation oil with frankincense and juniper and cedarwood. And for a while, I wasn't able to get the frankincense that I made it with originally, so I had stopped making it, um, but I have now been able to obtain that frankincense. And so um, I am going to be starting to make that again. And uh, that was one of my favorites. It's a great meditation oil, and it's called Connect. Um, but I don't know if it's on the website right now, because, like I said, things come and go. Um, and so if that's something that interests you, 
just reach out to me and I will get you some. <laughs> and also, if you ever want to order something that's not on the site, you know, you can always just message me, call me, email me, and I'll take care of things for you. Um, so another thing I wanted to share with you is um, this is a sampler kit. This is a great way to try all the products. You have a strength body wash. I'm trying to get this straight here. Strength body wash, um, happy lotion, joy spray, peace body butter. Um, up here is a uh, skin rescue, which is a bug bite, like a skin salve that works amazing to heal burns and, and skin irritations. Right here is Breathe Easy essential oil, which is a formula that helps to open your sinuses. Um, good for asthmatics as well with um, peppermint, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Um, and then there's two more, three more things in here I'm going to share with you. Archangel Michael Spray, Squeaky Clean, and Baby Face. So this, this retails for um, $22.95. And this is a you know, it tells you everything that's in it, and it's a great way to try the products. And also, just let me share this. Um, this summer, this kit came in handy. My um, my mom was in the rehab facility, and we had used all these different products to help her get better. So the strength was a great way for her to use it on her face as a face wash. Um, then, of course, the baby face, which I'll tell you about, is um, is the, the anti-aging oil. We use the squeaky clean to clean the, the, the place around her, to clean her counter and everything. Um, the joy spray, because it's the kind of thing where you need to have some kind of, you know, room freshener. Um, and the lotion, everything, everything came in handy. I rubbed her hands with the butter. We used the cream, the, the salve on some of um, the sores from when she had um, IVs in her arms. I mean, everything that was in this kit was, was used. And um, I was really proud that, you know, I was able to bring something in that could, you, you know, could, could be so helpful at this difficult time. Uh, so that's a good idea, too. Um, note about... This is Squeaky Clean. This is my natural cleaning product. Um, it's also great for yoga mats, which is originally why I created it. Um, and it, this one is the holiday scent. It has cinnamon and orange, which you don't normally find in a cleaning product. Um, so it has like a nice like holiday smell to the house when you're cleaning. Um, the other two scents I have <laughs> are the, the original Lemon Mint which also has herbs in it for um, anti, uh, antibacterial action. And uh, this is the happy squeaky. This is the happy scent in the squeaky clean. So you have that great citrus smell as you're cleaning. And it's also, a, they are both really amazing degreasers. So actually all three are degreasers. So if you're cleaning your stove, um, you're going to have a great result. Get rid of all that bacon grease. <laughs> all right, so... Am I talking to some vegans here? I don't know about if there would be any bacon grease on your counter. <laughs> um, this is the Baby Face. And this is my anti-aging product. It has um, all nutritious oils for your skin. Helps you to get rid of those lines. It has olive oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba, evening primrose oil, which is great anti-aging oil. Um, and what happens is, yes, it's an oil and you say, oh, I don't want to put oil on my face. But when you put, um, when they're making the lotions or the cream products, they take the oil and they mix it with water and then they emulsify it. And so you're getting mostly water and emulsifier, like in, in your product, you're not getting as much nutrition for your skin with a cream or a lotion as you would with an oil. So when you put this on, it goes on like an oil, but then 
after 10 minutes, it's just absorbed completely. And the great part is once you, when you're putting it on, then if you put foundation on, that's the place, that's the time to do it. You put the foundation on right away and it's, uh, you know, gives you that glow and it also helps your foundation go on smooth and then it'll all dry and it'll, you know, just feel like smooth. And, and the idea, the reason why it's called baby face is because it makes your, babe, your face like baby skin. Um, and the story behind that is that I, you know, I'd given it to my grandmother to try and she said, Oh my, you know, I got such compliments on my skin. My dentist said, your face feels like a baby's bottom. And I said, well, that's great. Cause now I have a name for my product. <laughs> so that's why it's called baby face. Cause it does. I bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> Seriously. Um, this stuff works. I've been using it since 2009 and I consistently am told that I look like I'm in my late twenties or thirties. And I can tell you that that's not true. Uh, message me if you want to know the truth, but that is, yeah, I haven't seen them for a while. So, um, okay. So I'm going to move on to the angel oils and, um, my friend Kathy here is one of my best proponents of Archangel Michael, the Archangel Michael oil. And this is for protection and clearing negative energies. And Archangel Michael is the one to call for that. It's also the one to call when you have, you need guidance in your life. Um, it's a, uh, lavender and rose formula. Lavender clears negative energies and brings in positive and rose seals your field. It brings in the highest vibration. So if you are a spiritual person and this resonates with you, um, you'll find that this is effective. I was doing an event once and they were having a spirit circle group in the room next to me. And I felt like pain at the back of my neck over here. And I know what that means. Usually that means that there's like a presence of someone from beyond and it just it's uh it's not comfortable i immediately realized what was going on and i grabbed my archangel and michael oil and i applied it to the back of my neck and i sprayed myself because we also have spray this is the spray and immediately that pain went away so if I didn't know any better, I would have just thought that it was my posture or it was because I was standing too long or something was just going on with my body and it wasn't anything else. But because I'm aware of these, the, the way that energies can affect our bodies, I immediately grabbed the Archangel Michael and it went away. And I, you know, that is, that is why I can stand here and say, I know what this stuff does and I recommend it highly. Um, if you aren't a spiritual person and this all sounds woo woo to you, that's okay. Um, you know, it'll work for you too. <laughs> Even if it doesn't seem like it resonates, um, it works. So yes. And, um, Kathy's saying I use it every night. Um, it's, you know, you have to like the smell too though. Um, so for example, um, my husband is what I call the protector. Uh, when I first met him, I said, man, you have a very strong protector vibe. And he was actually a bouncer. So that makes sense. I didn't meet him while he was bouncing, but, uh, you know, I found out later that he was. So, um, whenever I make the Archangel Michael oil, he comes in and he says, what is that? It's not right for him. He doesn't need more protection. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's just funny that way, you know, we'll, we'll resonate with something or we won't. And you know, that one is not him at all, but the happy works for him too. That works really good. So we, you know, we all need different things and it's just good to just trial and error and see what works for you. Um, I have a whole variety of angel essences as well, and we're already running late on time. 
Um, but I wanted to just point out this Archangel Camuel oil because this one is so wonderful for helping you feel comforted. Um, when you're feeling stressed, you're, you're looking for a soulmate. You, I even used it for my, my head cold um, last week. And it was amazing. It has um, spearmint and lavender and tea tree, l lemon and eucalyptus. So it's interesting because it can comfort you and also help open your sinuses. <laughs> so um, You can feel the energy from them. Like you can feel them when you put them on. You can just feel something, whatever it is that they are supposed to help you do. Um, one of the other oils I have is Zadkiel. Zadkiel is for helping you figure out your divine purpose. Um, that one has the evergreen oils and the lemongrass in it. They're some of my favorite oils. And when I use that, like when I connected with Zadkiel, he was a very surfer dude kind of a vibe. And like with long, like blonde hair and had that like, you know, like everything, like, you know, hang loose, like everything's good. It's all good. And... Uh, when I use that oil, it just, you know, brings me back to that vibe, like, just ride, roll with it, ride it, just relax, like, you know, get into the groove, you know, and, and it's, it's, they each have their own feeling. Um, you'll see on the website, I have Metatron, I have Sandalphon, uh, I'll tell you a story about Sandalphon, um, Jophiel, Mary Magdalene. Um, and her ex experience with her years ago was very interesting. I attended an angel class and, uh, she was, the moderator was bringing in different angels and, and when she appeared, she, I felt like someone just lifted my hand and, and took my hand and then put my hand on my heart. I literally saw myself doing this and I felt it like it was someone was right there. It was amazing. And I saw her face and she was the most, the most beautiful. You, it, there was no actress that's ever played her that comes close to her beauty. And I wasn't into this then. I just, it was my first time trying this and I thought, oh my God, I'm having this experience. And now, you know, I think it's because I'm supposed to share this because we can ask for the guidance. We can ask for the help. It's always there. We just don't. And when we do, we can, we can have, we can see the miracles and the magic happen for us. And it's just beautiful when you are open and it comes to you and you can appreciate that there was some divine intervention that took place because you have released your worries and your your know-how of how it's all supposed to happen and when you can release that and you allow for things to come in they you know and you ask for the help then you can connect with it and say oh my gosh like I know that I didn't do that I know that this has to be this is out of this world um, and so when you use this the oils it's helping you get that one step closer to them it's just helping you to feel their energy and helping you connect to their their essence and you know bring their energy into your life and so when I was asked to make a blend for to connect with Mary Magdalene and also with Mother Mary I had to wait for the very perfect moment to do it and I didn't know when that was going to be but I was led into it and the reason I say that is because I went to a friend's house and she has a like a meditation room and she pulled immediately she pulled out her cards her Ma Mary Magdalene uh, divination cards and I said oh my god do you, you know this is the time like do you mind if I sit with these and and see if I could get the essence and of the you know of the blend for them and that is how that these oils came about uh, I did this type, same type of thing for the other angel blends that I have brought forth. Um, they were not my creations. They were definitely divine inspirations. And um, I sat one day and I asked, "Is that, if anyone is um, listening, I'd like to, um, you know, 
make some formulas for others to help connect to you. So please, you know, work through me and, and let me know what you have. Um, and I got a download immediately of eight different blends and some oils I would have never put in these blends together, like the rosewood and the spearmint in the one formula for Camuel. I would have never done that. And I, I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, I know, I know this is the work of a divine. It's not me. And when I worked with Sandalfon and got that blend, uh, I said, you know, I reconnected with them and I said, you know, I, um, I feel like the oil should smell a little bit better if people are going to use it. Like it has a pungent smell. And for an hour, I, we worked together and he would say, try a little of this, try a little of that. Well, now it smells like whiskey. And <laughs> it was the very essence of what he presented to me, which was like of children um, playing Ring Around the rosy in a field of wildflowers. And so it was all about like being grounded and fun and carefree and singing, singing because he's the angel of music. And so uh, that was a fun experience. And I just, you know, I like for, you know, people to have their own experiences and, and share them as well. Um, but if you feel like this resonates with you, you know, the oils are there to help you try to connect. Um, and on that note, I'm going to um, share with you the last two here, um, which is my forgiveness formula from the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I do have a strong connection to him as well. Um, this uh, formula is very powerful for clearing out anything that doesn't serve you, for past hurts, for getting rid of um, deep blocks, opening blocks that, you know, have kept you from having like love come in and it is for forgiveness. So when you use this, my, my first experience with it was I felt immediately like I was sitting um, in one of the caves on like a, one of his wooden benches that he made. It's like, it has like, like musty, musky kind of a scent to it. Um, and it is purposeful. It is for the purpose of connecting. Um, it is not something that you would naturally wear like a perfume like these other formulas you would. But this one is um, the 8 ounce bottle. That is um, $12. I don't know why. I just didn't tell you the prices of the other things before. But anyway, the, the 8 ounce bottle I also have in um, Mother Mary. And I do have the third ounce formulas. I can't get this to look okay. I do have the third ounce bottle for you as well if you like that size, if you're really, you know, connected. Mother Mary's oil is beautiful. It is, um, both of these actually have gardenia. Um, there's a story that was presented to me about how they walked together through a garden and smelled the gardenia. And so both of these oils have gardenia in them. And the um, Mother Mary helps you to instill more calm and faith because of her deep faith. And you can feel that come from the blend as well. And, and for the holiday, um, and I actually also always have the trio package of um, Jesus, Mother Mary, and um, Mary Magdalene in the third ounce bottles. So this is uh, also always available. And last but not least, this is the satisfied formula. <laughs> We're redirecting now. This is completely different <laughs> from anything else. But um, if, you know, you are alone, like you don't have a boyfriend, a maid or whatever, um, this is a beautiful product. It's also really good for if you have a partner and you want to increase your romance factor. Um, this is cocoa, rose, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This is a chocolate body butter with hints of rose and cinnamon. This body butter is amazing. It makes you want to eat it. Um, but it's, you know, helping you feel satisfied regardless if you're alone or you're with partner. So anyways, it's my aphrodisiac formula. 
um, called Satisfied. And um, like I said, you could use the body butter on yourself for your own self massage or with a partner and just really, you know, enjoy yourselves. Um, and just smelling it, you know, smelling the chocolate could help you feel satisfied without actually eating the chocolate. So you can save on the calories. So think about that. <laughs> I think I've covered it all. Um, if you are still around and you're watching from the beginning, I'm going to ask that question that I said before. What was I, you know, circling back to something that I talked about before. Okay. What was... What was the scent that connected me um, that I that my favorite scent was and it has something to do with the holidays and it's one word it's not gonna be um, a specific oil it's a grouping of oils so if anybody's still watching and they remember what that scent is that was my favorite from when I grew up, I will, I will give you a free product. All right. So I'm just going to wait and see if anybody comes up with it. Yes. The hint is that it is something that we all enjoy at the holidays. Okay. I'm going to just hang in there for a couple minutes. See if anybody remembers. <clears throat> okay. So far, no, no answers. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you the answer. All right. It's evergreen. So far. No. No answers. Okay. Oh, well. I hope you all enjoy your evergreen all right. trees I'll this year. The um. All right. If you have any other questions, feel free to message me. Um, there's a, a link in this event that takes you to um, where to buy the products. Oh, well. I hope you all and um, if you don't have that, you should have that link. Um, I'll put... Did I not give you enough time, Kathy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't give you enough time. I thought I was given enough time. All right, well, anybody who, you know, wants to go um, shopping, get your orders in soon. I'm sorry. You, um, you know, we've got to get the right, get them out in the mail. And uh, if you are local to Manahawkin area, you're, we could do a pickup uh, drop-off uh, up until, you know, the last day before Christmas. So, All right, you know, so no worries anybody, there. You know, and save on shipping. Um, shopping. And uh, the website is dc-aroma.com where you can go check it out. Um, there's also a link here in the uh, event so you can click. And uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, it was it was joy having you all here. And uh, I, you know, I appreciate you so much. And I hope you have a blessed holiday and that you, you know, just be careful and appreciate the little moments that just treasure 
you know, each little moment that you have that, you know, find a way to bring the joy, find a way to, you know, be grateful and, and share the love because, you know, that's what's important. It's not always about the gifts, but it's about the thought and the sentiment and the love. So peace to you. Have a wonderful holiday and we'll see you in the new year. Take care.